Hi, this is Brian. I uh, just want to know if you want to try to go to work and see how long it takes you to go to work. Yeah. Ow. Here we go. Let's see how long it takes to go to work. Especially on traffic days on Saturdays. This is the first 7 o'clock, leaving at 7.20. It's almost 7.30. So I'm trying to go to work on a bike. See how long it takes me to get to work. Every single time I want to go to work. The process of trying to go to work. What direction? I'm going straight to the old Fifth Third Bank. So, I'm procrastinating where I have to go. If I don't get pulled over for looking at my phone. But, right now I'm trying to get to work. And we're going to guess how far it's going to take me from doing what I have to do. So, I'm going right over the tracks. I'm coming up to McKenzie. And if I can switch this over, I uh, can't do that. If I could do that one. Well, we got the green light, so I'm just going to get going down here. So be careful. Every time I do. Every time I do everything. I'm going to work. It takes me this... Well, it's clear a little bit today, and I'm kind of lucky. Just to try to do everything. I'm making mine. So it's gonna I'm sorry it's gonna be a little shaky and um, sidewalks are not really perfect, so some trying to prove I'm trying to get to work. So this is part of the video, so And we're going to guess how far I basically travel. Google thinks it takes like maybe 40 minutes. Or 60. I'm not really sure, but we're going to guess. I could look it up, but the best thing about it is just trying to figure how far it takes you to ride a bike. To work. Every single day. Maybe I make a couple more videos of someday but I'm just I'm just gonna find out if I could get some views and get somebody to reach out to me and find out how long it takes you to get to work from from Evergreen Park to Chicago Ridge to a there's a jewel I work at so so I'm just trying to prove how far it takes me to go to 87th in Ridgeland. Right now I'm going straight down 95th Street. I'm going to have to cross the other side of it pretty soon. So to be on the right side where the cars are going down to Oak Lawn. So, I'm still in Evergreen, so. so I think it takes me this long to, to get where I have to go. So this is, this is part of the video, so. And after I get to work, We'll figure. So it takes me 
just concerned not dropping what I have on my hand that makes the videos work. <laughs> and sorry my hair is all flopping around. I'm just trying to figure how long it takes you to get to work on a bike. <laughs> Depends how fast you go too, but if I had something proper to base and film instead of holding a phone in one hand and steering one hand, but it'd be a lot more safer, but right now I just don't want to get pulled over, but we're going through this pandemic. The COVID-19 flu. Well, that, what the heck this virus is, but there's a line in a supermarket, but I can't go on the other side and I don't want to go through these lines because it's kind of dangerous for me to be around too many people. So, it's just follow the procedures. So, and I got my mask with me in case I go inside a building. It's, it's pretty hard to ride a bike with a mask on, but... <laughs> Screwing my engine. Trying to get around people. These people don't want to move, so... So I just go around people you have to be careful when you're driving your bike down these streets sometimes people like to run you over but you just have to be careful I have to be careful with people who walk because I'm riding a bike so I have to look both ways but I didn't listen to that one yet but if somebody's watching me and stuff so subscribe, put a like if you want. But. This is probably the first a long time I made a video, but kind of sketchy. So, so try to keep it going. So I know I have a couple old videos over three years ago. So I'm going to get across the street, making sure I'm not going to get hit. So I'm on 90, 95th Street in Pulaski. So. Oh, damn. The lights are not really cool out here. They, like, screw around with me. So, so I'm going to go straight down Pulaski, straight down to 95th Street. So... Try to go home. Well, try to get to work, so I'm gonna probably do the same thing that going home. So, on the next video, we'll see how how long it takes me to get to work and how long it takes me to get home. So, it depends on traffic. So, Something, something different, but I don't know if somebody did this or not, but I'm um, trying to figure how long it takes you to go to work on a bike. Come on, people. Uh, on the phone. I'm going to try to get across the street on the other side where I'm supposed to, but I can go on that, go on that fast, on that. So now I'm on the right side instead of going the wrong way, but you can't see that as I have, I don't have that set up. If I did, it would be a different story, but. So, the adventure is basically traveling on a bike to work on YouTube. So I have to be really careful when I cross the street because I'm holding one bike on hand and a phone on one hand. People think I'm not, probably not doing this, but I'm 
doing something different nobody else could basically do. I don't know how far it is from Chicago Ridge to where I came from. So we'll see. We're going to figure out the math. You guys can look it up on Google Maps and figure out how far it is. Or you can do it from your from thinking. So got two other choices you can do to figure out how far it takes me to get to work. The Jewel to 87th in Ridgeland in Oak Lawn. So I just doing this. There's nothing else to do, so I'm just videoing how far it takes me to get to work from bike. Trying to get to work. People, I can't get away from people who have radios like that, but you know. So it comes down to that point. So. So, I'm um, at least I'm on Oak Lawn near Christ Hospital, African Christ. So, I'm in the middle, of, I'm in Oak Lawn right now. So, the venture I'm gonna end up turning down to Cicero because it's probably faster for me to go down there. I'm not gonna go straight down this, I'm um, down to Ridgeland is I'm gonna end up going. I'm gonna end up taking 90, at least 91st Street to 89th. I'm giving you guys clues to see how long it takes you, how long it takes me to go to work. So, so basically, on that. Okay. People probably think I'm nuts and I'm talking to myself, but it's just the first time basically talking and riding on a bike. So if I'm not really good, yeah. trying to figure if you go to my point. It's a lot of bumps on these streets out here on the sidewalks, so. I'm sorry about me bouncing around on the phone, so I'm trying to keep the phone steady, I'm trying to hold the bike, ride the bike and try to hold the phone. So people honking. <laughs> Think I'm nuts. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do a cut through this parking lot. So to make it easier, I probably gain an hour maybe a minute to get to work a little bit faster so if I could basically go straight right now I'm avoiding trying to cross Cicero right now but I still have to get across Cicero anyways to get to where I have to go to my location so so my location is I'm coming I'm not that far but if I get across this row or central, I'm almost there at my job. So, is that's the two hard streets to get across in Evergreen or Chicago streets out here, Oak Lawn. And if you guys are listening to me in different con um, counties, so. so. Yeah, see, right now I'm trying to get over the tracks pretty soon. It takes me how long it takes me. So I'm trying to get home, trying to get to work. And this is this is this video is basically about is trying to how long it takes you to get to work on a bike. Basically, I have a mountain bike and I'm riding it, so it depends how it is. 
to get to work. Because I do this all the time, so I'm seeing how long it takes me to get to my location, to my job, on a bike. So, so I'm going down, I'm going down Cicero right now to 91st. If you guys are figuring, what is the name of the street? You guys are saying the names of the streets. You guys probably don't know. If you guys, you probably, if you guys are listening to in Illinois around here, so you'll notice the names of the streets. So I'm not saying a lot of names though. I don't want to give out a lot of information, but it's good to learn the names, the streets, where I go on to, so, so I'm getting up to it right now, so I have to wait for this light to change to the other side. I know this going a lot around, so you probably see businesses going by a little bit, but so I'm gonna get across the street. I'm gonna get across this. Come on. Every single day. It's hard to get around on this bike. Especially trying to get home or try to get to work. The same paths might be different going home. It's like I like to switch it up sometimes. Because I like to get to work faster. So, I don't know how long it takes me to get to work. So, we'll see how long it takes. I can look it up. But that will just spoil the whole... It'll spoil the whole video. So, you guys need to guess. So, directions, but... If I had a GPS on me, I could basically do it that way, but make it a lot easier for me to just figure out how long it takes. I think I knew how long it takes me to get to work, but how long on a bike? It depends on the weather, too, so. And the weather is always about how long it takes you to get to work and how you're dressed. And how the temperature is, is, it doesn't feel good when you're riding a bike and it's really cold out. But tomorrow, today, it's going to be at around 79 degrees, so. Right now it's like in the 50s. Is it's comfortable for me as I have a hoodie on, so it's enough for me. So, is there anybody around... Where you guys are at, it's probably warm or a little cold. So, so it takes me uh, filming this pretty long on this hour and 18. It's probably boring for you guys to watch me travel on a bike going to work. So, if it comes down. To the point, you know, I don't know, it's kind of weird for me to talk to you. Uh, so, you guys, it's nice out. You guys, hope you guys are enjoying your day. If you guys are working or not, but it depends with this pandemic going on right now. So, hope you guys are safe, taking care of yourselves keeping your distance so doing what people are quiet to basically do to keep their stuff alive so it just makes it easier for you guys to keep your hands washed and just listening what people say and all their all like all that and stuff like that but you know how you know they're doing what we have to do to keep alive so this virus is a really bad one, so we need to keep it going, so. And after the time I get 
to work, I have to wear a mask and spot based on my job's rules. And sorry I'm wobbling around on here. And I'm on I'm still on 91st Street. This is the way I have to take to go to work. Sometimes I can go straight down to Ridgeland if I wanted to, but it's a lot of bumps over there. So trying to take this long it goes down here but okay it's, it's pretty nice out birds are out we're supposed to be getting some storms soon but I not really know what time it is so so it takes me this long to get air is not standing pumping, so I can't stand up and pump. Because I have to use two of my, I have to use both of my hands to do that. I have to try to get across the other side. Okay. So look both ways. I'm getting across right now. I'm going to zigzag across 91st. Going past 55th Street. Have a new one. I don't know why I'm naming out streets and stuff out here a little bit. Not a lot, but court. And it's at it's probably fifty still on ninety first street. I'm gonna have to dodge these people's cars. Wow, that's sweet. Zigzag two freaking bumpers. Or three. Inquired. So I'm going to end up going down on Centro. If you guys know, if you guys lived in Ever Illinois before. But I have to wait at this light. So I have a chance to keep still still. It's hard. Oh, bye. <clears throat> okay. This light sometimes takes a long time to change <clears throat> by traffic, so. Okay. Mm. So, how long it takes you to get to work? I know you guys drive cars, but that's pretty hard. For me to get a car in this time of year, so if I do had the money to get a car or got a license, it'd be an awesome story, an awesome life for me to get around in, because I could do a lot more instead of travel on a bike. So, if you guys ride to work on a bike, give me a thumbs up, or it's up to you guys if you want. So, describe first before you want to put a thumbs up so it'd be awesome if you guys do so this is my channel because I need help <laughs> to get the work so it just comes down you don't have to but it's up to you just describe put a thumbs up enjoy so enjoy your day for the rest of your time I'm just doing this to just prove to waste time traveling so I have, I'm going down central right now so it's a, testing how long it takes you to go to work on a bike and what directions you go so I'm taking different kinds of directions to get to work because I did this before I'm going past 90th Street right now, so I have to wait for this truck driver. Or I could take 90th straight down, so to make it easier for him. So, so this is make this video a little longer what it is, but maybe I'll make it faster to get to work. That's what Google thinks it takes me to 90th. So. 
Google Maps always tells different directions where you can go to go to work. But 90th Street doesn't go through. It goes through in certain directions where, where you have to go, but it takes you. You just have to go down a little further to let this truck go past. This guy's getting some kind of um, fence and. Hmm. As I could take another route on 90th, but it doesn't, it doesn't say you if you look at that Google Maps, but. So it takes me, I'm going to get across this, uh, across the street. So it takes me this long to get to work. So I'm going to make a video of it. It's kind of odd, but what I could basically do is uh, travel this far. I'm coming up in 89th place. This is not the sidewalk, that's not the street, that's a dead end, I have to go down the other side of 89th, there's two of them, this is 89th street I have to go on to, to get to my, to my job, there's I zigzag a lot to take adventures, but it takes you this long to get to work, so... So it takes this long to get to work. I'm trying to avoid people. Because I don't want to ride them. I don't want to be around people that much. Because with this virus, you can't go around people around six feet. Well, I'm going more than six feet. So Plus, I'm riding a bike. So it takes almost... Going down on Mayfield Avenue. So I'm almost at work. So it depends. So it takes at least, well, how many hours I was basically filming. Basically, I had to stop at a couple lights. It depends how long it takes you to get to work from what, it, what street you take. Or you, if you're going straight down the main street to Ridgeland, because that's where I'm in. I'm going anyways. In 87 in Ridgeland. That's where I'm going to. So I'm almost up to do it. Up to it. So I'm talking a little bad right now. So I'm trying to look straight away where I'm trying to go right now. So looking at you guys, but. Paying attention, driving, and doing this. So safety's first, and you're riding a bike. So you still have to look around and see if nobody runs you over. <laughs> because I know people won't just run you over. Some of them probably do. It depends. If you guys have these problems in your state, in your air, in your areas, in your towns. How they get around on bike to get to work. As I know, some sh states don't have sidewalks like near the farm areas and stuff, but as I know, you guys probably ride on the street. I ride on the sidewalk and it's comfortable for me, but I still have to be careful and I don't run over anybody either. So, since so I'm going down a block right now, so. So I'm almost at work, so if you guys describe and like this video, or it depends if you guys do, it'll be easier for me to get some comments about how long it takes me to get to work. If you guys have a comment about anything about this video, and I'll try to approve it. Or anything, but just make some kind of comment about it. You know, it's, it's 
depends what you guys want to make about it. If you guys ride a bike to work, make a comment. Or figure out what suggestion you want me to do. Take a bus, take a Uber, or whatever. But it doesn't take that long to get where I have to go. But you guys can make comments and I'll figure out how to suggest what you guys said. Put a like, subscribe. So, just almost, this is almost the end of the video. So, I'm just running. I'm going up to the store I'm working at. So, so sign off. Hey, I'm just going to work pretty soon. So, where you guys need to go? To go to work, just ride a bike every day. So I'm, on my, I'm in my location right now. Subscribe, put a thumbs up. It depends if you guys like this video. Sign off.